What's up guys and welcome back to the city of Los Rico. We are in the 17th episode of this series and the population is close to 57,000. Today, we will further expand our downtown area using mid-century modern assets and townhouses to help with the transition from downtown to our farming industrial area. So sit back, relax and enjoy the episode. Let's start with the townhouses first. These are the two areas which I want to fill in with townhouses today. Since the area to be filled is same as the area where we placed rows of townhouses in the previous episode, I will use move it to copy the existing layout and paste it in these two areas. We will definitely need to make some changes to the node heights. and slopes as per the terrain areas with townhouses are usually repetitive and that is what i am trying to do here with downtown having flashy high rises for the riches of the city these townhouses should cater for the mid tier population Now I am beginning to adjust the building heights as well as the road node heights. As you can see, I am adjusting building heights in groups of 3 or 4 to the nearest node on the road. This way the buildings will slope according to the roads and the general look and feel of the area will improve. To ensure proper and gradual sloping of the roads i will use the slope tool under network multi tool alternatively you could also use the slope tool that comes with the move it mod now that one side is done i will do the same on the other side as well so let's go into a quick time lapse and i'll be back right after The whole area is done along with all required adjustments some detailing should bring more life to this area Currently I am upgrading the road to an asymmetric road to provide dedicated turns Next up I will extend our township district the whole district is already marked as historic this prevents the town houses from upgrading to any different kind of buildings and maintains the intended uniformity in the area
Now I will extend our bus line to include a stop close to the new area. This line originates from our main railway station and should provide the boost to the land value of the area. Let's move to the next area we want to build on. This will be an area with a mix of mid-century assets, some UK eco buildings, lots of sports facilities and some commercial as well. Using node controller, I will fix that here. This happens when you have two nodes so close to each other. Moving the points slightly backward from the junction smoothens the turns. Using move it, I will now level the nodes to be at the same height. Yes, looks perfect. Let's start filling up the area. For the triangular area, I am planning to plop a couple of soccer pitches. I will use move it to find the right spot for these where the terrain affects them the least. I can always use surface painter to repair the missing asphalt areas. Next up, I will put some down lights for the fields and place some buildings which would act as storage space and locker rooms for the facility. They are facing the wrong way, so I will rotate them using move it. Due to the sloping terrain, it was hard to get the orientation right, but with some higher adjustments, the facility looks better now. I have placed a wooden fence around the facility and will detail the area with some trees and smaller plants. I will do some further detailing later on, but first, let's move on to the next area. The square is very close to our farming area and that is why I want to keep this area pretty chilled out and to give out rural vibes. The road layout will be pretty basic as I am trying to maximize the built area. I will then extend the mid-century modern district and zone some residential and a couple of commercial right in front of the soccer facility. While we wait for these buildings to spawn, let's place a gas station in the corner here. We can always come back to the area. As I said in the beginning of the episode, we will place some more sports facilities in the area. Let's place a large football ground and a tennis club next to each other. I downloaded both of these assets from the Steam Workshop. After adjusting the heights of these assets, I will place some paths around them to encourage walking. Paths in general add a lot of character to sports facilities. Once the paths are complete, I will draw roads for the rest of the area. This area will have some more commercial zoning with farming specialization 
as well as plop some eco buildings. With the general road layout complete, I will quickly create a parking lot using big parking lot assets. Since I'm planning to put some more commercial zoning around the area, I think a parking lot is a great idea. So here it is, the parking lot is complete. I have used big parking lots all around this city. So I decided to skip directly to the end. This should serve the residents of the townhouses where parking is limited, the Sims visiting our sports facility, as well as the commercial area I am going to build. Moving on, I will place a medical clinic at the end of the road and some more pedestrian access to the area. There is a small patch of land next to the sports facility which I'll start detailing with some trees and some rocks. So here is the time lapse of the whole build starting off with the parking lot for the area. As you can see there are many cars parked and many spaces available as well. On the right are the two lots of townhouses we placed today. I use surface painter and tree lining tool to detail the area. Next up are the two soccer pitches we placed. I used some bushes, rocks with trees to detail the area. Moving up from there is the area where we zoned some mid-century modern houses where I put fences and trees for detailing. Towards the center of your screen is the tennis club and the football ground. Adjacent to it is the badminton club. I have used surface painter, rocks and trees to detail the area. I have also used eco building around the area and after detailing them with fences and trees, the area looks awesome. Further north from here, I zoned some commercial with farming specialization. Detailed the area with surface painter, trees, fountains and some benches. So that's all for today guys and thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Diplo signing off.